What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cat Life here bringing another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video and today we are going to be watching some of Peru's um replay for his limit one festival now if you go ahead and check out the content from earlier today you would have noticed that i did include one of his replays in there but we couldn't just stop there we had to go check out the other ones as this man is actually goaded with the replays and honestly i just think he's the best hero player that i've seen now i went against other hero players on master duel and they do not come up to literally the type of strategies that he has even during a limit one, he still is able to go ahead and find a way to make this work. And he does it all without ever using DPE, which is truly impressive, especially for a hero player. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Cal Life is signing out. See ya. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit every button that you see possible. See ya. All right. So once again, uh, Peru is going to be actually be going second. And it looks like he's going against some Trivigay Zodiac deck. And honestly, I don't think he's too worried now. Let's see what this guy can do. He's going to summon out the kit and then go with the Karas. After that, they're going to go into the Farajit, which is going to activate Kit's ability to go ahead and toss out the Fractal into the grave and then get the um, Narval into the field. From there, he's going to go ahead and summon out the Bear Brum. Now with Bear Brum, go into the Appalosa. So right now it's looking like a pretty nice looking lead because the he does have about three monster negates but i don't think that's even enough to stop peru as you can see so let's see what just happens two cards face down ends the turn now two monster gates i'm gonna assume that uh the other one is definitely the revolt which it is but the harpy's feather duster is going to wipe out the whole backfield which is going to force the revolt to reveal itself and then bring out the uh ominous omen oh actually goes into the rugal sheller so not the ominous omen oh and he took care of the solemn nice nice so fair jit's gonna activate uh also, Shell is going to activate, going to go ahead and get off the Fractal onto the field. Now, he's going to activate a Justice Gold, which is going to reduce the power of Appaloosa down to 1600. From here, um, he's going to activate the Dark Calling. Now, the Dark Calling, luckily, is a spell, so he can play through the Appaloosa, which is going to summon out the Malacious Bane, which is going to be all he needs after he activates Favorite Hero. Ooh, effect Vela is going to come in to negate the effect, but honestly, I don't think that's going to stop anything because now with favorite hero, he can just go ahead and activate it to put out the field spell. And now with this, he can go ahead and actually attack as much as he wants onto the field. And that's going to be a GG. Oh my gosh, Peru, you are, you are crazy, crazy with this deck. All right, on to the next one. All right, so we're on the match number two, and Peru is going to be going second. Now, he does have the maxi in his hand just in case they go crazy with the special summoning, but it doesn't look like they do. He actually draws into a red reboot and is going to go ahead and end his turn. Now, the reason he ends his turn is I guess he was trying to play around some kaijus. I don't know. But at this point, it is his turn. His opponent just plays one card face down. And then he's going to go and summon out the hero, Solid Soldier. Solid Soldier is actually going to get hit with the Imperm, but that's not a problem as he's able to activate his Red Reboot from the hand by sacrificing half of his life points, which is then going to, in fact, negate the Imperm and then allow the opponent to go ahead and set one card from their deck, which is going to be a Solemn, but they cannot activate trap cards for the rest of this turn. So he's in a good position to go ahead and summon out the Destiny Hero Draw. And then from there, he's going to actually get hit with Ash, but he's going to negate that with the Call by the Grave. So the Ash Blossom then becomes absolutely useless. So one good thing to see here is that there is no activation of Maxi in the hand, so the opponent does not have Maxi, which is nice. Now, thanks to this, he's able to go ahead and get his Shadow Mist and can go into the extra hero Cross Crusader. Cross Crusader is such a good card. Uh, especially for heroes as it just really sets up things so now he's able to link his card chain it with the maxi that way he can go ahead and actually add one hero monster with a different name from the deck to the hand 
so he adds in the forest now he's going to activate forest ability get rid of the shadow mist to summon out the forest the forest is then going to chain and then chain with the shadow mist which is going to in fact allow peru to get the destiny hero denier into the hand and also get the uh vision hero increase he uses vision hero increase to send forest to the graveyard special summon this and then activate violence ability which is going to send the malacious in the grave from the deck and then use violence ability to then send shadow mist to the banner stone to get himself a polymerization after this he's going to use both his two liquor soldiers and denier to go ahead and make a sunrise using sun um using poly liquor soldier is going to allow him to go ahead and draw two cards and then sunrise is also going to go ahead and uh get the miracle fusion now with that he discards one card thanks to the ability of liquid soldier and then he's going to use his two uh increase and extra cross crusader to make a extra hero dread decimator at this point he's going to get hit with nib and i was worried for him because i didn't know what else he could do other than use the power of miracle fusion but he actually draws into an imperm and he draws into the uh d force which is going to allow him to get himself a destiny hero plasma from here he's going to use miracle fusion miracle fusion is going to make himself a shining now with the shining he can go ahead and use all three to get himself a destiny hero plasma onto the field take control of the nib and then use um the favorite hero ability to go ahead and attack now with that he can attack one more time which is going to do 5200 damage and play an imperm face down so at this point peru has made a miraculous comeback because <laughs> the opponent doesn't know what to do uh, so he is going to activate regeki but thanks to the power of d force he is going to be saved as this card cannot be destroyed by card effects and can also make a second attack he's going to use d force ability again and the opponent is just going to go ahead and scoop after the activation of rhoda and stratos so another strong showing from our boy peru peru is truly just a goaded hero player man i'm trying to tell you oh my goodness all right so this is going to be our last video and it looks like he's going against numerons now honestly i i do wonder how numerons is going to do as he only summons out three monsters to get out the infratrack so now he has a unkillable machine unless he has an exceed monster and from what we know about heroes is they do not play any exceeds so yeah <laughs> let's see whoa did we just see a just desserts that was face down is that what i just saw we did wow i haven't seen this card in forever anyways peru's gonna summon out dino wrestler uh pankatrops and then use the forest ability and then uh get himself out a straddles now straddles is gonna go ahead and um basically use out the increase right here to send out the uh, forest and get out the Vion. we're going to go ahead and toss out the uh adjusted gold and then from there use violence ability to go ahead and get rid of the shadow mist finally summon out the straddles get himself a shining on this neo use dark calling to go ahead and fuse to make himself a evil malicious bane but at this point uh he still can't kill this thing with any card effects unless it's an exceed or a spell or trap card so he's gonna make himself a vision hero trinity and I think this is when the game is just going to get out of hand. He's going to activate this, get rid of the foolish burial, use favorite hero on the Trinity. Now with that, the ability is going to activate to where he can get his field spell onto the field. And then he's going to activate hero and then just go ahead and attack. So that's one and that is a two and that is a game. So usually this card will be troublesome, but if you could just go ahead and attack over it a bunch of times, I mean, it really changes nothing, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, guys, thank you all so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed the hero videos, let me know. That way we can go and ask Peru for more replays. I mean, this man is actually amazing when it comes to heroes. He does so many things that I don't even think of. Um, and I just think that he just deserves all the respect that he needs, right, at this point. But once again, guys, if you like the content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. We are on our way to uh 1.1k and that would be amazing to go ahead and hit especially before the end of the month but you know 
anything is possible even at this point in stage as you know you guys are actually goaded as a fan base and i just appreciate every one of y'all so anyways cow life is signing out you guys have a wonderful day see ya